there. Uh, my name's Antonia Love. I'm General Manager at Dumbarton Football Club and I've just been asked to do a wee video for um, Careers Week. So basically I am in the stadium um, part-time hours with one other person um, and we just deal with the day-to-day the -day running of the club, be it from you know the financial side, um, commercial, as well as obviously making sure that matches are organised, players are registered. Um, it's a very interesting role and definitely um, challenging at times. No two days are actually ever the same. Uh, we've also got a shop based at the stadium as well. Um, and then obviously we host Rangers B games as well as the occasional um, Scotland, um, whether it's you know the SFA using it for an under-19 tournament or training facilities you know, for one of the foreign teams that's in there as well. Um, I've currently been with Dumbarton for um, just coming up for three years now. Um, I did have a spell when I first started um, back in when I was 17 actually. Um, I was at Patrick Thistle for nine years. I um, left there and joined Dumbarton f the first time and I was there for six years. And then I left to go to uh, Greenock Morton and then thought I wanted a normal nine to five job. Um, so I left and joined a property factor but realised that my skills and experience my whole career has obviously been in football and I, and I did miss that environment of every day is different and you just don't know what you're walking into. Um, it is a part-time role but certainly not part-time hours. Um, you're just on call basically whenever is needed. Um, more so obviously around January when the transfer window opens and you might be having players going out to different clubs or you might have players coming in which can also sometimes, you know, involve like international clearance. So you're dealing with FIFA, um, you know, another governing body as well as SFA and, and the SPFL to make sure obviously players are registered. Um, it's certainly, as I said, a very challenging um, job, but I, I genuinely wouldn't change it. Um, as I said, it's, it's you know, you're into a, a variation of um, skills and obviously the people you meet as well within the different clubs, it's always good to have the, the contacts there as well. Um, when I first left school, accounts was where I wanted to be and thought that that's, you know, was the plan and um, went in and actually started studying at college before realising that it just actually wasn't for me and I just wanted to be in, a, in an office environment. So um, my, my advice to anyone that wants to get into football administration is really just get your name out there, you know, maybe try and do some work experience at different clubs um, and a lot of clubs will look for different um, you know, the bigger clubs will have vacancies available that, you know, you might get your foot in the door um, in a different area than you're looking to do. But once you're in, you know, sometimes you can work through internally um, and, you know, that can always help. So, um, but yeah, I would definitely get your CV and, you know, um, name out to different clubs and, and see if, you know, if you can go in and maybe help out in a match day or something and that could certainly um, help you along.